had a dream last night that I was mowing the yard. Uh, it's been a while since I've mowed my own yard. I've been paying somebody to do it. So I'm sitting there, and I'm mowing the yard in my dream. I'm doing a great job. And then it dawns on me, he's like, wait a minute, why am I mowing the yard? They're coming this Saturday. Today's Wednesday, you know, because yesterday was Wednesday. And I woke up going, you know, that's just, it really was Wednesday. And it's like, it's when reality enters your dream. And it just kind of freaked me out. I was like, wow, that, that's, what parts of my brain are talking to each other? It's like, <laughs> no, not not this is a dream and you know, I'm, I'm mowing my yard for no good reason. It's like, no, I'm mowing, I'm, I'm wasting my time mowing my yard because the lawn guys are coming Saturday. So, that's just weird. You know, what, I remember waking up and thinking, that was just the weirdest thing. It's early morning. Uh, it's not the same day I shot the other video. That was like a yesterday or the day before. It feels so nice out here. It's Friday. Let's see, today's the 21st of October 2016, and it's the first day we've had decent, cool morning all year uh, since winter, since past winter. And it just feels awesome in here. It's supposed to rain a little bit today, but who cares? I had something I was going to talk about all in my head. So I'm going to come out here early in the morning. You know, I made myself some coffee, and I came out here. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to rant about this. And I got out here, and I was like, oh, it feels so nice. I walked around outside. There's no light out there. It's just dark. Oh. And I'm like, it's too dark. i got to go back in the garage. By the time I got walked in the garage and turned the light on, it's gone. I cannot remember what the hell I was going to come out here and rant about. <sighs> Let's see. It wasn't beards. It wasn't about work. I remember that. I remember it was not about work. I don't know. I'd say I was going senile, but I've always been like this. Somebody jingles the keys and off I, you know, off goes my attention span. Not all that long ago, I would put eight packs of sugar in a coffee this size, which is like 12, 12 15 ounce cup or whatever it is. <clears throat> now I'm trying to get myself off of the, the sugar craving. And just use a little bit of creamer. I notice if I put a little bit of creamer in it, it doesn't give me uh, upset stomach. Sometimes I get upset stomach when I just drink my co black coffee. So uh, it's just it's just vegetable oil with sweetener in it is all all it is. So so that's eight packs of sugar. That's twenty. They're three grams a piece. I looked it up on the side of the box. Three kilos. We buy them from you know we buy them from Sam's at work. So it's three. It says three kilos of sugar on the side. A thousand packets, so guess what? Three grams a piece ish. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, that's still not as much as this is in a soda. So I looked at I looked it up on the side of a can of Coca-Cola. There were 12 grams of sugar. 12, I'm sorry, there were 39 grams of sugar in a Coca-Cola 12 ounce can. 39 grams. And then I looked at a can of Mountain Dew. There are 44 grams of sugar. 44 grams, that's 15 packets of sugar. <laughs> 15, I love that stuff too. I'll never drink it again. <laughs> 15 packs of sugar. <laughs> so I, don't, I didn't feel so bad for putting eight, eight packs of sugar in my coffee. But, but uh, this one has a little bit of creamer and that's it. Uh, and honestly, after doing this for like a couple of weeks is all it took. I, I can't stand putting sugar, that much sugar, in, in a coffee. So the, just this little bit of a little bit of cream with sugar in it already is plenty for me now. And what I've learned is to just not make super strong coffee. Uh, and it worked. That's pretty easy because people either make water or gasoline. And it's, you got two choices. People either fill fill the coffee thing all the way to the top, and you know there's not a, there's not an air gap between it and the top of the coffee maker, or they put half a scoop in of coffee. So you either get you either get color water or gasoline. Something from the depths. Not what I came out here to talk about. I, mean, I, was, I still haven't figured that out. It's gone. Was I want a hippopotamus for Christmas? Now, I'm sure you've heard it. And you just don't remember. I want to hit a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. I heard this on the radio in the 90s sometime because I had heard it when I was a kid. Uh, it's dark out here still, <clears throat> and I remember singing it for somebody real quick in the in the office at. Uh, when I used to work uh, in a different office, and they didn't believe me. <laughs> it was the first song, I, and I went, I went and hunted it down on the internet. 
and dug it up and found the lyrics to it because back then you couldn't just download anything. At least you, you couldn't just go down, go get songs like you can now. You can go now and you can find streaming. You can probably find that song on streaming. And actually, once uh, not YouTube, but w w there was another service that, that came out that had songs on it a long time ago, and you could go in, you could listen to snippets of songs, and they didn't have the song, but they had an interview with the lady who did the song. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I've since found that on YouTube as well. I've kind of had a fascination with this song, because it's like the first, my first real, you know, not being believed for a fact, and looking it up on the internet and tracking down the, tracking down the fact on the internet. Oh, it's the, I'm seeing the reflection of this light. That light on the, on the screen, and wondering what the hell that dot is in the middle of my face. <clears throat> that was the first time I ever really looked something up on the internet and, and found people found a uh, reason or found the found the data and proved myself right. <sighs> well, with the internet, because before that, you know, it's, it was going to the library time. But uh, I was, it, the interview with the lady who sang it uh, said when she sang that song, she was like she was like 11 years old or something, and. Uh, they they already had the song and they, they had her as a as a um, uh, what do you call it a studio singer <coughs> for little kids. This is in the 50s or something, and they drug her down and gave her this song and they practiced it and she sang it and she thought it was a cute song and she didn't really think anything of it and it, be, it be, blew up. It was like big in the whatever year it came out because it came, you know of course like. You know, roll it out right before Christmas, and it hits the radio, and everybody flips out about it because it's, really, it's an adorable little song. But there's no clouds, but it's still kind of a pretty. Well, there's a couple of little clouds, but it's still kind of a pretty <laughs> sunrise. I got uh, two chem, two uh, chem trail, two com trails up here. I sat there and watched the first plane go by. And you see this little sharp needle point, <laughs> and all you can see is the trail. And then a few minutes later, I see another plane go right behind it. And the one trail had already faded away, and there's no way this is coming out. Nah, that's not coming out at all. <clears throat> but yeah, so there were two of them up there. And I'm not going to weigh into the whole chemtrail, comtrail controversy. If they are spraying for anything, they're spraying for mosquitoes, and just don't want everybody to blame every single cough and sneeze on it. And so that's all that's going on, if there, if there is anything going on. Oh, don't adjust, white balance, damn it, it's dark out here. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that uh, song still holds a, a uh, place in my heart as the first thing I really looked up on the internet. <clears throat>